no, 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 kill her, no, no. Zelda is your shoulder is my dots. Um, remember, I have pink hair. One. Oh wow, this is pathetic. It's Nintendo ES100 here with Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we took out all the trainers of the Fortree City Gym. And in this episode, we will be taking on the bird Pokemon Master herself, apparently. Winona, the girl whose name I just recently learned how to say correctly. So, off screen, of course, I um, healed up as I do before every gym battle, even though I really don't need it because I'm blatantly overpowered. But anyway, so I'll be leading off with PSI because it has Thunderbolts, so let's get this fight started. I am Winona, the leader of the Fall Tree Pokemon Gym. I have been one, one with the bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. Dots. However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Who are you, Kenny Ortega's daughter? <laughs> Had to make a choreography joke. God, what is wrong with me? So anyway, let's get this started. Leader Winona would like to battle. So she will start off with a level 29 Swablu with the attacks, Parish Song, Mirror Move, Safeguard, and Aerial Ace. Of course, PSI will have no trouble with this thing. Just one single Thunderbolt should just destroy it right there. Or as the joke's like, I don't know why I kept making the joke last um, video of like, oh, one single gust of wind should blow it away. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so let's see. And next up will be her Tropius. And just because it's a grass type, I think it will be most effective to switch over to Kaioken because um, Psychic... While it is stabbed, um, isn't super effective, and Thunderbolt is not, is, um, resisted just because, well, it's, it's, it does neutral damage just because the, um, gra grass type is, is, um, resistant to electric. So anyway, single flamethrower to this Tropius, which has Sunny Day Mirror Move, Solar Beam, and Synthesis. Yeah, so it's pretty much a Sunny Day Tropius, um, not like it really matters because it's already dead. But, um, be careful if you can't take it out, um, Solar, Sunny Day can really, um, uh, mess you up, um. So anyway, uh, I forgot, what does Refresh actually do? Let's see. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of Splash on my Lautic for now, um, even though it will be reco- it will be- eh, yeah, it'll be recovered. It'll be replaced later by Recover, so not like it really matters that much, so let's see, what is she gonna send out next? She will be sending out her Skarmory, so I'll be keeping in Kaioken, awesome! So, okay, here we go. Skarmory will be level 31, it will have the attack, Sand Attack, Steel Wing, Fury Attack, and Aerial Ace. So in other words, it's got nothing on my Skarmory. So, it's already dead. Awesome. Alright, so let's see. Alright, and a Pelipper, alright. So we're going to switch back out to PSI because the double weakness to Electric Attack. So let's see. The Pelipper should be level 30 with Water Gun, Supersonic Protect, and Aerial Ace. So... Really nothing it can really hit you with hard besides I mean Aerial Ace isn't extremely powerful and oh okay I guess it's a good thing I use psychic because um it protected itself anyway, not like it really mattered. So anyway, um protect can be annoying, but of course if it uses it um in well if it if it uses it repeatedly just like that, it won't work, so just like that, I got to hit it anyway. So yeah, this just kinda be careful for supersonic, I guess, if you're um worried about it. I mean if you're over leveled like me, I mean it's no problem whatsoever. 16, one of my favorite numbers, yay. And then finally, her will be her Altaria. So, let's see. You know, I'll keep it in, yeah. Uh, Altaria, her strongest Pokemon, will be level 33 with Earthquake, Dragon Dance, Dragon Breath, and Aerial Ace. This actually is a pretty powerful Pokemon, especially because it's got Earthquake, so it can do some damage. Yeah, 20 HP. That's so powerful. So let's see, and wow, only took, well, brought it down to half, that's impressive, so let's see Dragon Dance, ooh, yeah, it's starting, oh crap, crap, it's starting to set up on me, okay, it's attack, road, ooh, speed, and, is that it? Okay, yeah, I, I get, I thought Dragon Dance boosted more than that, I guess it might be later, later generation, so, yep, oh, alright, two hits was enough to take it out, so let's see, alright, da -da -dun, da -da -dun. never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. In recognition of your prowess, I present you with this gym badge. And we get 33,000 poke... No, I mean, 3,300 poke dollars. Da 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 Screw that up. Yep, we get the feather badge. With the feather badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey your every command. 
You will also be able to use the HM move fly outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me. And we get TM40, which I believe is Aerial Ace. Very good move. Yep, it contains aerial space. It's speed. No Pokemon should be able to avoid it. Yeah, it's actually 100% accuracy. There's no way you can... It, there's no way it'll miss, so it's actually not a bad move, so... Anyway, now that we can actually use Fly, I'm going to pull out that Fly TM. Uh, nope, not cut. And I'm going to teach it to Skarmory and my own Tropius. Let's see. Um, so, we, at least on Skarmory, we finally have a move to replace Air Cutter. So, let's see. Let's get rid of Stomp. Um, and then, of course, we, have, we always have a backup um, Fly user in case um, Skarmory is not in my team for some reason. So, let's see. Alright, so we wants to learn fly, and we will be getting, like I said, we will be getting rid of air cutter because we're trading out 50 power, I mean 55 power for 70 power, that's pretty good. And um, if you're wondering, in battle, fly, the way fly works is simply, um, um, basically you fly up in the air in one, one turn and you, and you hit him on the next turn, and I, and I will be showing you how to use fly right here in a second, let's see what he has to say. You did it! You achieved liftoff! That's all you're gonna say? You did it, you achieved liftoff? Actually, no, just something I thought I'd show off. I haven't done this in a long time, so yep, yeah, gym badges right there. Pretty cool little wing thing right there. Wing thing. <laughs> anyway, so let's head out here and let's see. Um, now I will demonstrate what fly is like in the open. So let's see, let's fly. So you can fly to any town you've already previously been to. As you can see, those are the ones highlighted in red. As you can see, there still are quite a few more areas to go, even though we've already gone to a we've already gone farther than necessary because of um having to go all the way to Lily Cove. So I, I think I'll just show off flying to Lily Cove, um, since we need to head down that way, way anyway. Um, and here we are in Lily Cove. So that's enough for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video where we will be start our journey towards the next gym leader. See you guys then.